About three weeks ago, I finished eating a different street foods culture every single day. And really what this challenge showed me was not only the delicious flavors in each and every food, but also the incredible energy of the different cultures. And today I woke up and almost had this itch to explore the Mexican food culture, specifically tacos. So today for 24 hours, I'll be eating all different types of tacos from that small little neighborhood taco joint to a more expensive, luxurious kind of taco. Oh man, this, this is gonna be a fun challenge. But right now to get us started off, we're gonna go to a cheap place. And for cheap tacos in New York City, it's sometimes super difficult to find them. You know, even taco trucks in New York City, they sell each taco for about $3, which I don't really consider cheap for tacos. So that's why I'm going to a bar right now that every Monday they serve $1 tacos. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, good. Um, can I have uh, three of the dollar tacos? Okay, so I'm here at Cooper's, which doubles as a restaurant and also a bar, which is a cool combination because it combines restaurant style food but also with you know like happy hour deals and the item I went with of course was the dollar taco they're made with white fish fried tilapia cabbage and all topped with that spicy mayo sauce and to be honest this plate of food it impresses the hell out of me like I mean these actually look like quality tacos and they're just one dollar and in New York to even get a quality taco for three dollars it's sometimes difficult but anyway let's dive in to the first taco Holy moly. Just take a sound of this crunch. Honestly, the best thing that you can hear on a fish taco. When you bite into that taco, you literally taste the perfectly fried golden brown tilapia. And then when combined with that sauce, it makes for literally a knockout of flavor. I mean, pretty much everybody likes fried food. But when you combine it with other flavors, like the sweetness and also a little bit spiciness of the spicy mayo, and also the freshness of the cabbage, it makes for a complete taco. And honestly, right from the first bite, this taco has been an incredible experience. When I lifted it up, you could just tell that there was a little weight to it. Like it was just like drooping down. And that's what you want to find in any sort of taco. If you find it in a dollar taco, you go to that place every single day. So I'm pretty sure, no, 100% sure that this is my new Monday night meal. All right, so this is what I like to call the sweet spot. It's kind of like your everyday eatery. Place that doesn't necessarily have cheap tacos, but most definitely not fancy ones. Place that when you go there, you feel connected to, that it's your spot. For me, my spot is this little tiny Mexican deli called Zaragoza's. Hey, What's up, man? How's How it? How you doing? Good. Um, what sort of, uh, what sort of meats do you guys have today for tacos? I will offer you, I got steak with jalapeno, saute with the onions. We got shredded beef with chipotle nice. sauce. Nice. Chicken with chipotle sauce. Okay. Just but not least, my roast pork, carnitas. Oh man, the roast pork looks good. Okay, which ones would you recommend for, I wanna get two tacos, I think. Honestly, the, oh, today's sandwich is actually very good. Yeah? Uh, this one has a nice spicy kick to it. All right. The, my number one seller is the roast pork carnitas. I personally like this one, the shredded beef with chipotle sauce. Okay. Chicken, I always say the same thing. We always have it every day, it's amazing, but yeah. the, that's the It's the, the classic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, I'll go with uh, this one. Um, I know that wasn't really helping you out. You know what? This one is this one is really good. You I'll go two, with those. Two best. different tastes, completely different. Cool. So the roast pork and the beef. Make yourself Thanks, home. man. Okay, so I'm here at Zaragoza's Mexican Deli, and man, this place, this is absolutely special. You look around and you see typical Mexican products on the wall, a soccer game on the TV, and of course, just two tables. You see, Zaragoza's is first a deli and then like a tiny, tiny restaurant, and every day they make a different type of meat. So today I went with the meats that they had of the roast pork and the shredded spicy beef. Both are topped with lettuce, onions, cilantro, limes, and of course their homemade hot sauce. Honestly, when you come here, when you lift up their taco, you feel like you're eating a mini burrito. I mean, that thing is absolutely massive. <laughs> When I bit in, all the juices just started to like flow out of the taco. And then just <laughs> making a massive mess of taco. But man, that thing was absolutely delicious. When I bit in, I first tasted the smoothness and also succulent meat. And combined with the spice in the beef and also the hot sauce, it made for both a spicy and also rich flavor. And oh man, the tortilla, perfectly flaky and 100% homemade. And I don't know, I mean, the only thing that I can say is that is one absolutely beautiful taco. You're beautiful. <laughs> Moving on to the roast pork. Roast pork is not necessarily usually common for a taco. Usually it sticks to, you know, like the beef and chicken. But man, roast pork, when you have it good, is incredible. You see, the meat is slow cooked, making the meat retain its juices and also creating about 10 different flavors. 
I mean, man, you have the saltiness, you have the richness, you have the succulence, you have all these flavors just in one bite. And that, that's just the meat here. When combined with that double tortilla and spice, it's just absolutely out of this world. And I don't know, there's a flavor that can't be characterized. It's a flavor that can only be felt. You see, like I said, Zergosas is just a two-table restaurant here. Meaning that the people cooking are the ones that own this restaurant in their own kitchen. So you feel this... You feel this personal touch to it. I don't know, the only way I can describe it is it feels like I'm eating at my Mexican grandma's house if I was Mexican. <laughs> No, truthfully, I'm not necessarily into the idea of an expensive taco. A taco's origins is a sort of street food. That kind of food that has a greasy but personal feeling to it. For me, an expensive food comes at a good value when it teaches you something. It shows you a different flavor. And there's one restaurant in New York that says that their tacos taste like nobody else's. Hi. Hi. Uh, I ordered from Pickup. Yeah? What's your name? Bobby Brisky. Thank you. Of course. Have a great night. I tend to sit at the nice restaurants because it's normally a really nice interior, but I don't know, it's a beautiful night. I think to really enjoy this meal, I have to be outside. So anyway, the tacos that I went with were Brussels sprout and toasted almond tacos made on their homemade corn tortilla and topped with cheese, onions, and cilantro. Now this taco is quite pricey at $8 per taco, but the restaurant claims to have one, an innovative taco, and two, kind of a taste that you've never tasted before. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Now, the first thing that I have to say is this is one interesting taco. There's definitely many subtle tastes to it. You know, the Brussels sprout, it's roasted perfectly. There's both a saltiness and also kind of like a hotness to it. And the toasted almonds do go incredibly well with the Brussels sprouts. However, past that, there's not that much flavor, actually. You know, in the last two taco places that we went today, the filling inside the taco, it was vibrant. It was bold. And to be fair, this, this is a good taco. The one thing on this taco that's absolutely incredible that just blows me out of the water are the tortillas. These things are handmade and you can taste the depth of that flavor. Stretching not only from the starchiness but also subtle corn flavors and sweetness as well. But when it comes at eight dollars for a taco, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, but the eight dollar taco is totally not worth the value. I mean I understand that they put it in a nice bag and they have a really nice interior but in terms of the food it's good but it's a little bit pricey. The other two tacos that we ate today both came at incredible values. If it's a Monday definitely 100% go to Cooper's. Those dollar tacos anywhere are an incredible deal in New York it's just it's literally obscene. And Zargosa's that place just feels like home. So if I were to choose one of those I would probably say Zargosa. Their tacos are 100% homemade. Flavor on them is absolutely incredible and the energy and vibe of the restaurant is just amazing.